Hello everybody, welcome to the CCL Season 50 quarterfinal between Martin Septim and his Bretonians and Singolo and his Dwarves. In the booth with me is Faimir. Hello! Hello! Everybody, welcome to the Blood Bowl. And there was a KO there. Sorry, it's been a long time since I did one of my halos, you know, and I think the community deserves them. <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you very much, Femi. <laughs> and this quarterfinal game is dedicated to our viewers in Andorra. Oh, brilliant! <laughs> The people of Andorra <laughs> will have uh, the in the flag they have the words Virtus Urita Fortior. Virtue United is stronger. The mm. capital is Andorra La Bella. The language is Catalan. The currency is the Euro, and the national flower is the Narcissus. Oh, and wow. the national dish, the Scudella. That's amazing. Of course, uh, That's Vol. Amazing. Oh my God. <laughs> Volcayo and uh, Store, it's Store, not even, it's Store, the Store, it's not, it's not even in the, the country. <laughs> well, we know then, we know then the chances of our female viewer uh, being from Andorra are very small because the uh, blue ball players in Andorra are limited to maybe three people. <laughs> yeah, I think it is three. Yeah. But it's probably also one of the countries in the world with the highest density, density of streamers. Yes. per square uh, kilometer because mm. a lot of uh, Spanish streamers move there for uh, to avoid paying taxes. Ah, glorious. Well, <laughs> what an epic intro. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so we've got uh, Singolo's got like a min max team, but uh, and he's overdog, but he's bought a wizard as overdog, right? That's wild. Um, so yeah, so he's bought himself a wizard, so he he'll get one as well. Loads of guard, loads of mighty blow, um, but it's still quite big, especially compared to Martin Septim's. So Martin Septim has got a extra apothecary and a bribe, and then yeah, the wizard to cancel out because yeah, Singo that's pretty clever, isn't it? Because Singolo, like, how do you how do you deal with strength five ball carrier? Well, that's how you just induce a wizard as the overdog. Brilliant strats from Singolo. Gets the extra block. And uh, yeah, it's there's not much of a Brett team there, but it is like as min max as it's possible to get, right? He's got the he's got the blockers with guard, and he's got three decent blitzers. Um, well, I say decent. One's Ash four, which is beautiful. One's tackle. Um, they've all got blodge, and then obviously one's strength five guard, which is bonkers. So if you can get to hit that, you will, won't he? And then um, Wilson Golo. But yeah, the perfect having the having the wizard for it. Genius. A hard counter for the Singolo tons of a guard because the Belsas of a guard and also of a Gressel, mm. which can be very good or very bad. <laughs> yes, and I think uh, Martin Seppin is in the right thing, he needs to foul as much as possible because he doesn't have mighty blow. Yeah, yeah, and the dwarves have a lot of mighty blow, and Martin Seppin has armor seven and armor eight players, so yeah. <laughs> Yep, it's rough. Oh, and here we go. We're gonna, we're getting the basing turn. Cause just because he's just because he wants to make that hit, right? Like he's gonna he's gonna face up a lot more. Eliot's done for. Choose. Don't say it's over. I expected actually more basing than that. I thought it, I thought this guy would have uh, would have gone on the edge there. Hello, Flux Stream. Hello there, Flux Streamer. Oop, the Dubliss. And hello to anybody who didn't say hello to, sorry, you know, I was trying to set up the, the stream and everything for the uh, and switch views. We, we were going to watch the other game live, but then these started first and on much faster, so. <laughs> Perfect game to do live, this one. We're still catching up, I guess. Yes, yeah, we are. So they are not moving, playing that actually that fast, but they must be very close to the actual. Ooh. Yeah, they play really super fast. Uh, 
what's he called? Singolo plays faster than Johnny Five, which is just unbelievable. Oh my God, there's a huge foul. And that's a huge cast, a nice foul. Yep, Apple comes out straight away. So Singolo's Apple gone on turn three. It's going to be uncomfortable for him. The good thing about Singolo's team is he doesn't need to think about using the Apple on one piece or the other. It's just the first one because nearly all the pieces are the same. Yeah. I wonder how much he's regretting not putting someone around the back there, right? If you put someone around the back, they wouldn't have had that four plus dodge out to get the foul. But, um, hey. Oof! Ooh, Matt rolled that. Okay, gets the foul. Spreading himself a little bit thin here, uh, Singolo. Yeah, he doesn't pile on because he's got to protect the ball a little bit. And he's kind of abandoning some people with a fight. This is uh, it's pretty good from. I guess this is good from Martin Septim to try and, like, you know. I mean, he's that. gonna get the, as things uh, as things are. Marty Septim has got a, a lot of uh, free blocks next turn. Mm. Oh, the wrestle also helps uh, things a lot because now the problem is even with the free blocks, you're not likely to do much, are you? Unless you can get like a big foul off. The... <laughs> no, but uh, he can reposition the whole team, no problem. And the dwarfs, those dwarfs there on the floor are. Isolated now. Still pretty grim. Well, I wonder if I wonder if that guy should have. Oh, maybe the peasant could go in there, and then the peasant ties up all these three guys. Oh, he's just going to foul with him. <laughs> the sound effects are great, aren't they? Yes. <laughs> the mad cackle yes. for a foul. <laughs> but yeah, as you said, now he's getting like the delayed benefit, isn't he, of, of that turn? Because these, this guy got stunned, these two just stood up. He can uh, dodge away this guy. Yes. And uh, could see the wizard, eh? Yes, yes. That's if there is a wizard turn. It's gonna be next one because that ball is not very well protected there, mm. and he has to reroll the one in nine, you know, because uh, getting wrestle just frees <laughs> the other player. So yeah, still got loads of uh, still got loads of rerolls, of course. So yeah. Easy reroll, and now we're live. And now we've caught up with them, so now it will slow down a little bit, but not too much, I guess. <laughs> Doesn't use the wizard. Really thought he might have done. Huge power there. Needed the power against Anfirm because I he needs the guard in here. Well, the, the wrestle opinion. will be what's up for now, so. True, true. Gets the power, which means he's got dodge on the uh, blitzer, or he can just punch. No, he's gonna dodge. Another power, all the powers from, from not from Simcoe, from Martin Septim. This turn. And another power. I know, man. Singolo might have to take the score here. <laughs> uh, I don't think there is uh, much more protection that Singolo can do. I mean, he, he should uh, blitz the AG4 piece with tackle mighty blow and probably a score. Yeah, he could run because back, but it's hard, isn't it? It's a hard turn, this. It's already turn six. I mean, if he runs back, what's he going to do? Mm. Also, uh, Martin Septin is 100% uh, going to use the wizard uh, soon. Yeah. It's mad, isn't it? Because Singola's upper player, and he's just not... <laughs> it would help it be in move seven. Yep, Ducky. Yep, correct. <laughs> correct. Yes, yes, yes. I mean, uh, having blitzers, you know, could also help moving five pieces at your three. Yeah. He 
He's still got the blitzer at least. He thought about sacking him. But instead just piled in on the whiz of his own. So the fact he's blitz means he's scoring, right? Because I think he could have uh, sidelined so Cage otherwise. Yes. Taking any other hit will be uh, crazy even for uh, single standards. Mm -hmm. And there you go. That was the play. Yeah, well played by uh, Martin Septin and uh, Russell uh, takes the advantage here because it's been the loss of uh, Russell results that made uh, you know Dwarves uh, being left behind. Yeah, this is incredible. This is actually incredible, right? Martin Septim, he's got three turns to score. They've both got Wizards, that kind of almost cancels out, and then he's got a whole half. He could actually win this. The Apo's gone for Singolo. He hasn't lost anybody yet. This is a great result for Martin Septim. So he still far. has the bribe, so yeah. Yeah. Both Apples. Looking really nice. <laughs> That's the thing, you know, uh, Singolo has a lot of stand firm uh, business, but the Russell uh, blockers. You know, nearly, nearly cancel the uh, stand firm. Yeah, yeah, very good. Because they're long beards, you know, they're going to get up and move one square. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they're not bad. As, I mean, they've only got three blitzers, which hurts them, but they do have catch, and, you know, they've got... He has an IU4, and he has the strength five uh, piece. Yeah. Which is a fantastic ball carrier, you know. I don't see any problem with that guy carrying the ball. <laughs> yeah, yeah he, might, now, he might have to draw the whiz here. Like, you know, Singola might have to spend the whiz to stop the score. Here. Yes, because if uh, Martin focuses on one side of the pitch, he has enough pieces to uh, open a path with one of the wrestlers mm. and uh, base all the other doors. He's got three turns as well, so doesn't he have to like jam down like a loony in, in two, right? He no. Can, he can no, actually no, be a no. little bit considered and do it in three, yeah. So this is very dangerous for Singolo. And that's it, uh, Martin is uh, clearly focusing on the right on the left side of the pitch. Hmm. Well there's an armor eight guy because of course the runner is armor nine. <laughs> yes. And that's just the AG four piece, if something happens you want the piece away from the ball. Yeah. Oh wow, what a kick. Oof. Lucky, lucky single other with a kick, but also Martin Septim put a lot of eggs in the same basket. Yeah. And that's it, that's a cancel operation uh, left side. <laughs> Stand firm. Not this time. I'd like to see a blitz here from this uh, blocker. Let's see if he does it. No, as instead prefers to roll double skulls. Yeah, What's rolling double skulls is a terrible decision. I don't know why people choose to do that. Ah, so he's going to move the dirty player in here and then blitz with the peasant. I prefer just blitzing him and getting him over more protection over here. This is like slightly greedier, right? But more payoff. Also, the ball is there is uh, very unsafe. There is a lot of dwarves very close by. Yeah. Oh, he's not doing. Oh no, this is terrible then. So it, what he did was he could have moved here and then blitzed and then ran over there anyway, right? He could have gone one, two, three, four, five, six. So he should have definitely done like a blitz with a. If he wasn't going to block blitz with a. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> well, this foul's worked out amazingly. <laughs> but yeah, if he wasn't going to. like, if, You know, he should have just blitzed with this guy, right? There, there was no reason not to blitz with this wrestler. Um, he could have had him out in front or something. But yeah, holy moly, what a foul. That's absolutely massive, isn't it? That's the actual uh, best long beard. Yeah. I mean, he did put his best long beard on the, on the LOS, didn't he, there? Which maybe he shouldn't have. 
I know he's got yeah, stand got firm, some. but he could have put he could have put one of these other stand firms on the LOS, couldn't he? Exactly, he has more uh, stand firm and more things. Oh, and there it comes the uh, Akash in the random peasant. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Which is not very relevant because uh, Marty Septin uh, has another three. Yeah. This is a pretty decent defense, but he, he can crack it. He can certainly crack it down the line here. He has a guard needed to crack it. Yeah. Yeah, get to the power. Ooh, don't like the follow. Yeah, I was thinking about the follow, no, maybe. Oh, I uh, hate that follow. Uh, yeah, I really don't like what he's done here. Oh, at all. he's going to break through. I don't know, he's messed it up for himself. Uh, maybe with a. If he hadn't followed the first one, he could have then blitzed this guy, right? And then and yeah. then he's got the way through. Like, the long way around, but at least he would have had a way through. Now he's just got to dodge past the. Uh, now he's got to dodge past the runner. I guess everybody. You just gotta do it, like there's no it's not He's done seven. He he needs to go that Oof. You could double GFI with the ball here. You could go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven GFI. So we can double dodge and double GFI and get behind a screen. It's actually pretty nice. This also means that the uh, the strength five doesn't get hit with a, and then so the, the strength five can go three, four, five, six, seven. So the strength he can go there. And that's exactly what he's going. Yeah. And then he can get here, or here, either one, I guess one of those two. Oh, hate this. Hate this. I really like doing the 3-2 dodges and just getting beyond. I think he had to get beyond. He could have, like, you know, it, okay, it adds a 3+, plus, but you've got to re-roll. He's going to hand off. Oh, no, 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 I much prefer doing the extra GFIs and getting beyond. I mean, obviously this way he's got the strength 5. This way, like, he has to bolt. But it's also this way he has to bolt, <laughs> you know, and and he has to bolt your best player. Whereas if you go there, he, does he have to bolt? Maybe he might, he might not bolt. And if he does, at least he's bolting your edge four and not your strength five. So uh, I don't know. I I'm, I preferred getting here, but I mean this is this is still fine, obviously, because that makes the edge five like the strength five totally safe. So he's only got these guys over here to hit him. So like it's it's still a great move. It's just. Uh, not what I would have done. Yeah, Ducky approves of the fouls, I bet. Yeah. yeah. Gets the bolt. Oh, near stun. Oof. Oh, he's just stood up. I guess he can blitz with somebody else, but... No, it's done firm. Oh, he, but he, why did he do that? He could have just blocked with him. I guess he's edge four. But I would have still, I would have still tried to blitz him free. I like, I like blitzing people free, even if they're edge four. We've all lost a game because of a double one. Some of us have lost hundreds of games because of double ones. More or less. Happens one in thirty-six times. Ooh. Your uh, winning uh, the game play fails one in thirty-six times. So yeah, just play enough uh, games of blood ball and you'll be meet with disaster enough times. Yeah. Okay, that's all right. It still doesn't make. Uh... He's got to wrestle here, and then he can punch him. And then he's got two players to go. On. Like this is good. This guy should probably just do the GFI first, honestly. Just get him in there. That's a great place to stand. 
Or I guess you could get him in so he's standing there for sure. And then double G if I had a hit, that might have been an even better way of doing it. And then you would have had... Uh, no, you wouldn't have had stand firm in front. But I mean, this works out, obviously. Yeah, this is really, really nice. And this is a much better use of the Blitz than, than Blitzing the runner free. So yeah, a great play by Singolo. Huge Kaz obviously has to Apo it. Yes. And the Apo fails. Oof. A spectacular fail by the Apo. Oof. Oof. And now uh, Martin Septim can't score. Yep. Uh... As Ducky says, this line of play leaves your agility guy standing for the turn after the wizard. <laughs> or it leaves him dead. But, I mean, that could have just as easily been from the bolt, couldn't it, either way around, so, yeah. It would have been a lot harder to spank the strength five. That was my reasoning. I guess he would have still bolted the edge five right, and then just tried to blitz the uh, the edge four behind him. But I still, I'm, I did prefer that way. Maybe even he could have been stood there. I don't know. Or like this guy could have been there, and he could have been stood here or something. Hmm. Who knows? But what's done is done. There will be a chance to score here, maybe. Yep, what a different a few a few bats from Singolo. Failed Apo. And now there's suddenly three cars. I mean he, he literally took three cars in the, in that in two defensive yeah, turns from Singolo. <laughs> Singolo had two turns and made three cars. <laughs> but the wizard's gone. So, you know, if my Zeptim can can stall this out, then um you know, he'll have the wizard for overtime, but of course he might not have much of a team left for overtime, seeing as he's just taken three cas in two turns. Um, and he can use the wizard to force his through, score through if he has to, and only then if he one wins the toss. Only one real cast for the second half, because the other two were uh, Linus without the skills. Yep, that's true. But the sure hands is gone, AG4 is gone, so yeah, that's a big, big piece uh, they're much bigger than the long uh, for the team than the long beer that the single lost. Yeah, that's the thing, right? It's like he's only got three blitzers, and this one is a really, really nice one. Um, oh, P. Diddy. We'll see the fabled All Men's LOS. <laughs> Just, he's just going offset. I thought for sure he'd have monstered him. Monstered him on the LOS then. I guess maybe not right with him taking the Kaz already. Maybe he got a little bit a little bit spooked. No Apo. Doesn't want to make, like, give up the hits, but it would have been real tempting to put seven so, dwarves there. Yeah, but you put the seven, the seven dwarves and still the Brett's can get the two dice blocks more or less every single time because they have... Mm. Well, no, all the, all the guard is on the LOS right now, so... Yeah, yeah but then, you know, if they, if, they, if they won in nine, then they put themselves on their ass and stuff, and you've got some stand firm to make things tricky if they don't parry, like, it would be... My instant reaction was seven seven guard on the LOS, but, uh, you know, fair enough not doing it. A lot easier to say that as well when you're watching than when you're playing and you've already lost your rapport, I guess. <laughs> And maybe he thinks like, you know, the the birds could get behind him if he just went all men's otherwise. <laughs> yeah, Pedro, uh, it's it's terrifying, isn't it? Oh wow he didn't stand firm. And then he kept him in contact. Interesting. But if this is Nepal, there we go. Now it suddenly looks a terrible push from uh Terrible push direction from Martin Septon. Oh, I guess he could have got a nice foul in. That was another reason as well to uh, not stand for uh, to stand for no. So that was why he was doing it. This is he was trying to be greedy, wasn't he? And then get a two assist foul in. That's what I'm thinking. That's why he pushed him there and did the blitz because it's just a bit trying to get that foul in.
wouldn't have set up in a defensive Dakar. Um, I don't know, honestly. I think I would have wanted to maybe use my wizard if I had a wizard. I mean, I just wouldn't be using Brett's. Brett's in a defensive Dakar. We want dodge. <laughs> <laughs> well, defensive so, deck is just just to the lie down, isn't it? Just lie down, beat, yeah. get beaten up, and then wait for the second half. Use your wizard to score, and then it's one-one. You've got overtime, and uh... no, Martin Septin had a good chance in the first half, but it's very very close. You know, he did, yeah, yeah. yeah I'm surprised. Counter score, so I'm surprised though, like because he didn't take any damage, did he, in the first half? Then in two turns, he's taken three cars. So like, I guess with the two apples, that's why he tried to defend properly. Yeah, it makes sense with the two apples to try and defend. To two defend. apples and the wizard. Yeah. And the bribe. Yeah. And Singola only has 12 dwarves, so like, it does make sense to try and get lucky and chip a few. Yeah, that's the thing. Losing the uh, losing the sure hands part of this deal isn't so bad, is it? Right, because the strength five is the better ball carrier anyway, because he's invincible. But yeah, now we've got the old men's base up, and now it's just going to be really hard for my Septum to make any two DBs. The guard is split up a little bit, isn't it? So. Yeah, this is going to maybe get ugly. But at least, at least it's really hard for Singola to hit the ball. <laughs> yes, yes. Singola has to work extra time to if he wants to uh, hit the ball. But he doesn't need to. He doesn't only needs to stop the Brits from scoring. Yeah, yeah. If he can keep his dwarves in front of him and like keep a screen in that, then um. He doesn't actually have to knock over the strength five carrier. Yeah, he's gonna oh, have to make big, these one D's. Yeah, big one D there that gives him a nice. Yeah, he couldn't. He couldn't hit well. He could have one deed, I guess. But he didn't want to hit him. Four. Look at that, Dirtle. Thanks very much for the old command there. A glorious new video there for the table toppers amongst you. Uh, all oh people God. just interested. Oh, the damage counts again, and. Ah, here's the buff. <laughs> He's rolled a lot of double skulls. I feel like there was another game with loads of double skulls in not so long ago. And Dimi goes back to his natural estate. <laughs> Not too bad, thanks, Dirtle. Not too bad. Yeah, yeah, I'm doing well. I'm doing well. Today's been an easy day, rest day. Tomorrow is another one. Happy days. Glorious. Don't stand firm. Oh, I like the not stand firm. Like, it lets people get back, but at least uh, you don't get killed. I guess he really just wants to stop, like, it stopped two people getting over, I guess. No, it didn't, it just stopped one, didn't it? Stop one extra person getting over. He might have to score early here, might accept him, then use his wizard to hang on for the 1-1. One, one, and then hope he wins the toss in overtime. Ball is base. Yep. Yeah. Peasant punches. Oh wow, no, okay, so he wants the peasant to come with him. Just there. I mean, this is grim, isn't it? This is really grim. He might get his uh he might get his ball carrier served by a troll slayer here. I guess he's got to jam in the peasant here, yeah, to stop the to stop the troll slayer. 
Oof. It's funny how depressing the offense is for the birds, isn't it? It did do really well in defense, down players as well as Ducky said, and then second half, this has just been a massacre, hasn't it? This is this is what I, uh, this is how I felt against versus PC in my game. It's just like you just can't do anything. It's like oh god. I kept saying why didn't I Daka because I was you know. I just had to say something, but I didn't think Daka would have gone any better either. It was just, nah, it was I don't think that Daka would have uh, served you any well in that game. No. Oh, biggest unfair there. Happy days for Martin Septin there, and now come the dwarves slowly. Oh no, a disaster, Ducky. Is he just going to go for the 4 plus dodge? He might, you know. Because, like, it's surfing his best Golo play. He's perfectly able to do it. Yeah, it's like, it's a, he's only got two rerolls. Do you reroll it? I mean, I, like, he has to be going for it, right? Otherwise, yep. Yeah. Yep, he's going for it. He's made the 4 plus. Boy, howdy, relying on the Dauntless to get 1Ds. Oh, and the GFIs. Oh, man. Do you re-roll this? He does re-roll it. Makes the Dauntless. Gets the push. Oh, my God. It's so close. Woof. Woof. Oh, he feels the Dauntless, oh but he gets the God, push. It's on the other. Oh, Strength 5. See you later, pal. <laughs> oh, my God. And, and then... this could be the play of the game. Glorious. It was incredible, no, wasn't I it? I mean, just roll all the dice. And I will he rolled all the dice. I, <laughs> I mean, once when he was already after the dodge and all that, I was, I was like, yes, you have to roll that, but because you sharp the strength five, you win the game. You are nearly, you know, sure that you're gonna win the game. Yeah. It's funny though, isn't it? Because, you know, it's easy to say now, but does Martin Septim wish he'd made that GFI to go to go deeper and in and in field, right? Maybe. He gets the counter surf away. <laughs> Revenge. Thank you very much, Jay Bazza, for staying fantastic for 10 glorious months. Oh, yeah. Do Bieber pregnancy and a half? I said, did I say two glorious months? 10 glorious months. Two and a half beaver pregnancies. Thank you very, very much. I did say two, didn't I? I don't know why the hell I said that. I don't know what's wrong with my brain. My brain is a potato. Yes, Ducky, yep. Yeah, I didn't I didn't like his reaction to it. Maybe he's tilted off the face of the planet, but the counter surf did not seem the right play at all, did it? No. No, he had to he had to go for the what one, two, three, four, five, six yeah, one, three, four, five, six, seven, GFI, GFI. He could have got here, right? He could have got here with a ball, yep, yeah, bolt him and get to here. That was like the only play, but instead it was like Well I've lost now. Which is like fair enough, right? Because it's it's not over, but... Elliot KO'd again. Yep. <laughs> like, you have to play your outs, don't you? You just have to. And as much as, yes, this looks over and almost is over, um, you still got a shot if you bought this guy, as you say, and potato with him. You could have got about here or something. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, GFI. Yeah, here or here he could have got to. Um, and now he's bought the turn later, which, what's he have? Uh, a peasant. <laughs> <laughs> Three plus a uh, dodge to hit the long beard, pick up the ball and not go very far. Yeah. Maybe that uh, doesn't even reroll the pickup. 
And that yeah. is almost it, isn't it? Yes, he should have left the long beard uh, stuck to the peasants, yeah. I think. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, I mean, after the dodge and all that, it doesn't matter if he picks up the ball, it's instant uh, two dice on the ball. Yeah, yeah, it was it was too late. Ducky was spot on. He had to bowl the long beard last turn. Go for the potato, but then... Yeah, he just, just probably just mad at himself that he, he stood on the sideline. I mean, it was a lot of uh, dice, but except the four plus, the other rolls weren't that difficult, you know, so yeah. like a crazy play. Yeah, exactly. I wonder. I wonder if um, if you know. You start with the dodge. Yes, you start with the dodge. If the dodge works, that's it. You are committed. Yeah, but it, it might have even been worth re-rolling the dodge. Like that's how good it was, right? Like it was. It was so likely if you if you make the dodge, like. Like I don't think many people would have re-rolled the dodge, but it might have been correct to have re-rolled the dodge. <laughs> but yeah, once he makes it, that's it. Yeah, he's going in then. I don't know because uh, once you do the dodge, you still have to do the two GFIs, uh, the downless, probably twice, and uh, you can't roll a one in nine. Yeah, oh, I know, I know it's bad, and like, uh, there's a lot of dice, but like, and, and you know, obviously, once you but do the yeah, first re once you do the first, like, if you do the dodge first time, obviously, it's really good odds. Yes. But like, it might because it's like because it's such good odds. Once you've done the first dodge, it might be worth re-rolling it, even though I don't think anybody would re-roll the first dodge. It might be, it might have been the right player, like you know, it might be because it's just it wins you the game, That's doesn't it? Also, I can see that most of the players of uh, Martin Septim team are uh, uh, blood ball streamers, coaches, and commentators that haven't won the <laughs> challenge. Yep, that's true. There's Jimmy so, Look. Four. Yeah, yeah, there is a Dimi, there is a Leo, there's Keolan. Okay, Fox is there, okay. Nick's won. <laughs> Andy's won. Andy won, yes. Dimi hasn't, Keolan hasn't. Muppet hasn't. <laughs> Folk hasn't. Fatten hasn't. Rick has. Elliot hasn't, has he, bizarrely? Monty hasn't. Seabros hasn't. Drayson hasn't. Drayson does have the cock neck clip, though. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, so he's, he's battling now still, like, he's still battling Martin Septim, he's trying his hardest, isn't he, like, maybe he's recovered from the mental lapse, but it's going to be real hard to come back. Does this guy stand firm? No, so he can blitz the peasant and chain him off. Why uh, hasn't he stepped in? But yeah, he can go around a little bit. And. Here's the pow. Might be able to get dice in the ball here, but the, the problem is, like, he's 1 0 down, isn't he? And there's two turns left, so it's like. Yes. <laughs> yes, he's a. Uh... And there's a lot of dwarves on the way, and there's another dub skull! Singolo really likes rolling dub skulls, doesn't he? I don't know. I don't know what yes, it is. Yes, and that reroll, I'm not sure. Oh, I was really bad because he just he just one dizzy, doesn't he? Like instantly one dizzy. But I guess the thing is, who cares, right? Like, but yes, I mean he has to dodge because that uh, was basic that the uh, place you have to dodge, you have to go with the one D with wrestle, okay. And you can still hit from this side anyway, right? You can just uh, two D him, and then uphill or one D him, and then one D or two D the ball. I, I probably wouldn't have uh, rolled that because even if he gets the power or the bot down, Don't know which is here. low chances of that. 
He's got an uphill, right? He's just got a uphill for the push, and then he's got the dodge for the 1D. I don't understand what this is, because he could have gone there and this would have been a 1D. Oh no, I can stop going for it. They say in Chivalry 2, what's even happening? You can be my rig man anytime. <laughs> oh, Rick with a massive ray. Rick Radless. A fresh man. With a Hello Fresh uh, promotion in his <laughs> channel. Yeah, I should have a Hello he Fresh promotion. Hello Fresh. <laughs> Here we have a uh, much easier. Just get some rice, uh, boil it. <laughs> As you, do, as you do the piss station now with Hello Fresh, and it's just, it's just a gigantic crate full of chicken, rice, and broccoli. <laughs> oh, God. And as a gift, you know, as a gift with your first order, you get one of these rice makers that can also uh, boil the chicken, <laughs> the chicken, and the vegetables, which is exactly what I've done today, so. <laughs> Glorious. Hello, Rick. Hello, Rick viewers. There's a great video that I've just made with Rick the, the weekend there. Well, no, I didn't. Well, we technically, we made it. We made it recently, okay? We made we made a video, and uh, there you go. It's pretty good about the World Cup um, with the rosters and stuff, the rules and the rosters. Very cool. A very cool video. And, uh, yep, this is the quarterfinal of the, uh, whatever this is, CCL, season yeah. 50. Um, a very quick game, uh, unsurprisingly, between Singola, who has an average game time two minutes faster than Johnny Five, J5. which is just, I mean, that's unbelievable, right, playing faster than J5. Yes, a World Cup we can all support, indeed, Sandwich. And for those regardless people that are coming here, <laughs> this game is dedicated to our viewers in Andorra. That's the country that was chosen today. That's unbelievable, isn't it? Uh, so no, no one's in range I think it's that. one in 150 or 170 uh, to get Andorra. <laughs> Yeah, a lot of concessions, but I mean, J5 just concedes a lot of games as well, right? Con J5, yeah, I mean, J5 has a lot of concession losses to help his time. He, if somebody takes like four minutes, J5 just concedes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You want to be in the game, yes. Pause, pause the game. Sorry, someone is knocking at the door. <laughs> <laughs> Oh dear. What the, what the hell is Sandwich? What do you mean with you, all your uh, favorite streamers live in Andorra? <laughs> Surely your favorite Sam German streamers live there. <laughs> well, probably your non Blood Bowl Spanish streamer because the place is full of Spanish streamers. <laughs> right. Well, there you go. Um, that wasn't much of a game, was it? That was... Uh, I mean, well, well, it actually was. It was a great defensive performance in the first half by Martin Septim. The first half was really good by Martin Septim and uh, good decisions. I don't think any of the players did any real mis big mistake, but uh, the stack was against the the birds when birds go into the offensive. Yeah. In the defense... They have the advantage of the wrestle and all that, you know, you get a one and nine, long beer on the floor, blocker on the floor, blocker gets up, moves three, so you still can do things with them, but in the offense, it's not the same. Yeah, yeah, and it was it was just so hard. The wall of guard got in their way, and they, they yes. couldn't do anything, could they? And, and they might he got blow. the breakaway. He got the breakaway, but it just wasn't. It was two, two squares instead of three squares in. Hero play by Singolo. So great play from Singolo as well. Congrats to him. Commiserations, Martin Septim. Thank you so much, Fimea, for for doing this with us. Absolutely glorious to have you in the booth as always. No worries. I have nowhere else to go anyway. So yeah. <laughs> Thanks for watching everyone, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic!